Hey everybody, Aaron here from Comic Booked, and today I have a special box to open. Yeah, because it's, you know, special, right? Um, actually, the BAM box, which I uh, subscribe to and regularly open here on the channel, uh, had a big sale, even though last year they said they weren't going to have any more sales, and I had a moving sale, and uh, they sold a whole bunch of autographed items for uh, a single price. So I think there was like 50 for 50 or something like that. So anyway, I got this gigantic box full of autographed stuff, and I wanted to open it and just show you what I got. Show you what I got. Right. Rick and Morty reference. All right, so I will open the giant box and find out what is inside. I haven't opened it yet. I don't know. It's a mystery. We like mystery boxes, right? Oh, right off the bat, I got a nice little BAM box geek uh, umbrella corporation pin. And this is uh, just one of the exclusive fan art design pins they have. Those are always kind of cool. Paper. You never have enough paper, right? There are literally a crap ton of pins in here. They just threw a bunch of pins in here with a bunch of auto oh my gosh, a bunch of autograph stuff. So let me see what the pins are. We'll go through. Maybe I'll give away a couple pins to people who uh, comment on the, the video. Crinkle, crinkle. You hear all the crinkles? There's a lot of pins. So, like I said, Umbrella Corporation. There is uh, from the Bambox Jr. A little Grogu Baby Yoda action going on, right? Um, here's from one of the horror, Bambox horror. Some kind of a zombie looking head thing. Cool. Uh, and this is, I don't know, these could be, you know, common, uncommon, rare, or ultra rares. They just throw them in the box. So who knows? Um, here is another pin. I don't know who that's supposed to be, but it's from the Bambox Ultra. Not sure. Looks like some kind of some character from something that I'm not familiar with. Maybe something anime. I, I don't know. Um, there's a Porg. Whenever somebody tells you to go eat a Porg, you got a Porg right there. All right. Um, here's an anime pin. Oh, come on now. Looks like maybe uh, Yor from Spy Family, right? Yor's Borger? I don't know. I, don't, I haven't watched that show yet, so. There's uh, Ant-Man from the BAM Geek Box. Ant-Man's helmet, anyway. Now, this one, I only got... I got, actually got one in the Ultra Box that I bought a few, few months back, uh, and that is... The Claw! Beware the Claw! From the uh, the special... Uh, it was like... Right Place Wrong... No, it was, a, a, it was like Love and Hate or something like that, but it was like Romance and Fantasy and then Horror, and it had Carrie Elwes. And so it was a Princess Bride signed picture and a, a Saw signed picture, so that was in the box as well. All right. Um... There we go, from Bam Gamer, maybe Duke Nukem, or Johnny Bravo's dad, I don't know, Gamer, so Duke Nukem. Now here's cool, this is a PL Plus 5, and this is from a great Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. You know what it is? You know what it is? Alright, if you can name the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie in the comments then uh, you'll get a chance to win one of these pins not necessarily this one but a random pin all right next up is all right i'm gonna look at them before i show them off oh that's cool this is from the horror box friday the 13th part two jason on the subway there pretty cool here's another bam anime is that like Berserker or something. I don't know. Um, 
Another BAM Geek Box. Oh. Uh, from uh, Ghostbusters, one of the Ghostbusters movies. And also from Ghostbusters, the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Stay puffed, everybody. Um, all right, so that was, oh, yeah. <laughs> like we were done. There's a, a, another pile of these. Oh, my gosh. So there's another one of those. There's another one of those. Another one of those. Uh, I think that's all the duplicates so far. Okay, so we have another pin from the horror box. Looks like the Chuds. Chud. Cannibal Humanoids Underground Dwellers, right? That is an anime one, and it's a cat, and it's a robot. I don't know. Junior, that's uh, bats and hammers, and a little wand. I'm not sure what that's from. Bam Ultra Mystique, that's pretty cool. There's a, for all the Star Trek fans, it's a Bam Geek. It's a, from one of the Geek Boxes, February 2021, Star Trek pin. Bam Gamer, it's a little um, something. Owlbear, I don't know. Uh, another, oh, another duplicate. And Homer Gorilla, I love this one. This is so cool. It's probably one of my favorite pins. All right, I think that's it. For, well, I lied. Oh my! More pins. They were just cleaning house. Is what they were doing. They were moving from one area, one uh, location to another, and so they just kind of threw everything in the box, and then we just buy them and hope for the best. There's another Ant Man. That's full Ant Man, not just his helmet. That is some screaming guy from the Bam Ultra Box. I don't know who that is. Somebody. Oh, very cool. This is um, uh, Doctor Strange's window, I think. Or the Eye of Agamotto or whatever. There's another one of those. I don't know who this guy is. Tell me who this guy is and... Uh, Get a chance to win a pin. All right. Uh, anime. Anime. Um, boy, she looks really familiar. I can't think of who she is. Maybe from um, um, yeah, the one with the oh shoot, what's it called? I just finished the last the the another season of it. It's um. Sword Art Online, maybe. I don't know. And a very cool Astro Boy stamp pin. So, and that's all the pins. Okay, now let's take a look at the prints. So these are all going to be prints that have come out over the last however long. Um, so this is a Food Wars print, and it's numbered here in the corner and signed by the writer or the artist. Uh, not necessarily signed by the artist. Signed, with, you know, but not really signed. So this is 1423 out of 20. Food Wars, Shokugeki no Soma, it's called. And they, it's cool they all have a little certificate of authenticity on the back. So did you know that it's a, it's a BAM exclusive? Uh, there's another one. Lower number, though, 301 out of 2200. And, oh, cool. Burger Time. Classic Burger Time. Video game, awesome video game. If you've never played it in the arcade, it was the best. A lot of fun. Uh, 0463 out of 2500. Another one, same number, not same number, but you know, numbered. Uh, this is cool. Looks like Star Fox from the N64 game. And then I think they redid it, they, they re released it on the Switch, maybe. Another cool Star Fox print. And this is what happens when you uh, drop your breakfast pastry on the floor. Harry Pop-Tart. Now this is um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Right? 
Yep. Uh, another one of those. Looks like a lot of duplicates. So I'll throw a print in here too. Um, just like, share, subscribe, make a comment. You get a chance to win a print as well. Uh, Street Fighter or Double, uh, what is it called? Double Dragon? Double Dragon. That's it. Double Dragon. And that's out of 2200. Another Double Dragon. Little prints, you know. I had the mall space cheerleader camp where competition is killer. Starring Betsy Russell, Lucinda Dickey, Leaf Garrett, Lori Griffin. Must have been a movie from the 70s or something. 60s? Wow. So it must be prints from horror. This would have been an old horror movie. Cheerleader camp. That's cool. Oh, very neat. This is a fog. The fog print. If you haven't seen this movie, this movie is awesome. They're both... The, the original was the best with um, Bridget Bardo. No, Bridget Bardo. No, no, no. Um, Barbo. Janet Barbo. Uh, Janet Barbo? I, I, I can't remember her name now. That's awful. Um, anyway, really cool movie. Um, but the remake was okay. It wasn't as great, but it was still pretty good. Um, and it's a town that's, you know... Um, Threatened by fog that rolls in off the ocean, and uh, the ghosts of these sailors come to take people and kill people, and you know, yeah, kind of creepy. Uh, here's an anime chainsaw man. Chainsaw man. I don't think that's really how the theme song goes because I haven't watched it yet, but it is in my queue to watch. I will watch it eventually. Oh, here's a nice alien print. Very cool. And that is, uh, let's see here, that is, and the, it does tell sometimes who the prints are from, but this just says a fan-inspired print. So that's two alien prints I got. Um, this is uh, Uncharted video game, maybe? It looks like Uncharted, yeah. I'm just guessing at these. No idea, really. I'm a pretty good guesser, though, you know? How about John Wick? How about two John Wicks? Is that a double Wick? <laughs> okay. Bad. Bad jokes. Donkey Kong. Back before. Um, oh, that's cool. That does have an autograph on it. Uh, it is a signed print, so... That's pretty neat. Uh, back before Mario Brothers, you know, this was the original. Uh, Donkey Kong through the barrels. Mario was after uh, Penelope, trying to save her. And for some reason, Donkey Kong was in love with her. Kind of like a, you know, a King Kong ripoff-ish kind of thing where the beauty and the beast, you know, kind of story. So anyway, yeah. Uh, another print. So offensive. These are Donkey Kong nipples. Ah, nipples. Monkey nipples. All right. Oh, The Eternals. Hey, I know people said the movie wasn't very good. I haven't seen the movie yet. I really want to watch it. But it's like finding time to watch a movie. Who has that time? I don't. We can watch little like episodes of shows, but getting into a movie, it's really tough. But this is a beautiful, beautiful print. It looks, you know, it's Kirby-esque. Obviously, Jack Kirby created the the Eternals back in the seventies, um, but they, uh, you know, they're definitely iconic characters in Marvel. Um, I don't know why, you know, Marvel just couldn't, Marvel and Disney just couldn't do it, couldn't, uh, couldn't get it kicked off. But um, it's still a cool story. They they're a neat uh, set of characters. Here is an anime picture. I'm not sure what this is from. If you've got any ideas, let me know. Again, comments, because if you comment, then you get uh, you could win something. Another print of the same thing. <clears throat> I believe that this is Ghoulies, which was kind of like a, <laughs> which is crazy. It's like a ripoff of a ripoff. <clears throat> so you had Cabbage Patch Kids, you know, back in the day. 
and then you had Garbage Pail Kids, and then they thought, wouldn't it be cool if we made a movie where, like, little Cabbage Patch-like kids were really Garbage Pail Kids, but ate people and were monsters and lived in the sewers? And there, there you go, ghoulies. It was so cheesy. Another print, ghoulies. There's the Fun House. Uh, 2012, it says. Oh, 2022. So this was just this past year. Okay, and these are just uh, regular prints. Now these, uh, these are regular prints. So they're 20 out of 2,500. So they're not like the limited edition ones. But I'm hoping we get some limited edition ones in here too. There is um, Death Note. Pretty cool. This little uh, demon in the background there. And those do have autographs on them. Um, you can see both of them are signed. Oh, yeah. very cool. Oh my gosh. Sorry, getting a little too heavy for the place I had them sitting. They're gonna fall off of my table. Okay, we just have a little stack of these left. And then we have some big ones. And then we have a bunch of stickers. So. Prints, pins, and stickers. I will have. Um, I will do four giveaways from this. So just let me know what your uh, what your preference. Well, what your uh, what do you like? Horror, gaming, anime, geek stuff. Um, and then if you can answer a couple of the questions. So uh, I'll randomly pick from everybody who says you know what the. Um, who, who gives the answers or who gives their preference as far as, uh, a, uh, you know, what they like best. If you've tried the BAM box, let me know. I, I think it's awesome. I've really liked the BAM box out of all the boxes I've done. Uh, they've had some of the best stuff. But, you know, maybe you've tried it and you didn't like it. Maybe you got an off month. You know, I tried Loot Box or Loot Crate originally, uh, Geek Fuel for a little while. Uh, I did um, a couple other. There was one that was like, uh, women only that we we tried a few years ago and it was it was okay we did one for that it was okay um, I got a cool um, I, you know it was it wasn't me but um, I got the box afterwards it was um, um, Agent May from Agents of Shield and then a few stickers and prints and stuff um, there was a I don't know a bunch of other ones that I've tried. And you know, I've done the mystery packs and the mystery boxes of stuff. And I got a, I, I did do one the other day that was um, uh, a bunch of random baseball cards. You know, I, I just like that kind of stuff. You never know what you're going to find uh, in some of those. So it's always cool. It's always fun. If you c can't afford it, you know, you throw a little money into them. You never know. Um, so this looks it's Snake Eyes from GI Joe. Very cool print. And that's out of 500. So that's a little more limited. This might be one of the the limit the more limited ones, except I got two of them, so not that limited, huh? It may be where they started cutting back though on some of them. Uh, there's a really cool dark side with a bunch of the demonites. That's a neat one, and that says uh, Michael Castro. So I'm not sure who that is, but uh, he did the artwork on that. Another one. Oh, one of my favorite animes ever, Akira, Akira. That is a great print there. The only way it could be better is if it was actually the iconic, you know, picture of him with the motorcycle, which is only like a couple seconds of the movie, but this is pretty cool. <clears throat> Here's another anime. I don't know what it is. Girls with cats on their heads. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, let me know. I'd be interested to know. So there'll be two of those as well. Second one. Um, oh, hey, look at this. This uh, Now this is, a, now, now we're starting autographs. So now we're starting autographs. So this is an autograph. And I guess that it would be the voice of Lucy signing this with Schroeder and Lucy there uh, on a beautiful Charles Schultz piece of art. And you can see the symbol here, the Beckett symbol. That means that this is a certified autograph, the verified certified. 
That's very neat. Oh, second one. So I will be doing one. I'll be, okay. So I'll be doing four total giveaways. All right. I'm going to do one print, one autograph, and two pins. So four total giveaways on this video. So just, you know, let me know. I'm sorry. My nose is itching. <sighs> my allergy medicine starts to wear off about this time in the evening. You don't need to know that, right? Okay. Um, so autographs. Let's see what else is in here. Uh, another anime autograph, Jet. And I don't know who that is. Someone from a rubber bro. But he's the voice of Jet, or she. It's hard to tell sometimes with the anime. Uh, here we go from uh, um, Fairly Odd Parents, right? Is this like the young dad version uh, from Fairly Odd Parents, I think? Uh, here's another, oh, beautiful anime autograph. And this one actually has uh, an authentication number on it. And on the back is a little um, certification with a, a number and everything. And the, the authentication can be verified by visiting this email or this uh, web address and utilizing the number below. So that's very cool. There we go. Another anime autograph. Everybody loves Bulma, right? From Dragon Ball. That is a cool looking print with an autograph. I don't know who this is, Grim Reaper or somebody. Hey, this one I'm keeping. Sorry. Rasengan. That would be the voice of Baruto. Or Naruto, Baruto. I'm keeping that, though. I'm not giving that away. Yeah. I like that one. That is a cool print as well. And a sign, Neil Kaplan. There's the autograph there. So those are some cool autographs. Now i got a bunch of stickers. So whoever, um, yeah, let's see. So we've got some hangers, hanger stickers, it, Chucky, ghost face, anime. Sorry, I'm not as well versed in anime stuff. Inuyasha, I know that one. Right? And anime, somebody. <laughs> you guys are like, I know who that is. Oof. Not sure. They're like little, um, there's little Lego. Marvel characters, stickers, Venom, Loki, and Deathstroke. Kind of mixing our companies there, but that's kind of cool. Here is a mix of uh, uh, Mario villains. Pretty neat. And finally, uh, this is from um, what Among Us or whatever. Um, that, uh, when the imposter is sus, and there's a Pikachu, definitely a little sus, don't you think? All right, now, for the final part of this, a whole bunch of big prints, and possibly autographs as well. So these are very cool prints, um, Jason and Freddy, so Freddy versus Jason. Right, the movie, like a poster kind of thing, uh, out of 500, 117, and 118, and 106. Very cool. 
And I showed off this not too long ago. Uh, this was from the Ultra box that I got as well. Uh, the one with uh, the, the signed Saw picture and the signed uh, Princess Bride picture. And this was one of the prints in there. So these are limited. These are from the Ultra boxes. They were very, very limited. Only did 500 of each of them. So that was cool. Uh, here's a Carrie print. And these are numbered as well out of 750. And I got a couple of those. And then this was the other Ultra Box. The first Ultra Box they did, I got it. And I got a really nice double autographed poster. Um, Malin Ackerman and somebody else from The Watchmen. Uh, that were the, both of the Silk Spectres 1 and 2. Um, so this print was in there as well. Uh, Valkyrie, the original Valkyrie. And it's signed by the artist there. Uh, the Chalk Girl or something? The the Chalk Girl. Yeah. I don't know. I can't read the name, but it's cool. Um, finally, looks like Rain Wilson. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was in some movie. Oh, boy, I can't remember what that was. But, yeah, that's 542 out of 650. And the other print is the same. Same one, 97 out of 650. So these are really cool. They're a lot of prints, a few autographs, but not very many. Um, so I'll definitely do um, a print and an autograph and um, two of the um, two of the uh, two of the pins for for folks um, just by commenting. Uh, like, share, subscribe, please, but comment, and you can get entered to win one of those. And I will message you on here, and then we'll do um, Facebook Messenger or something where you can send me your uh, your information uh, so that I can get these get this stuff shipped out to you. All right, that was a ton of stuff, really a ton of stuff in here, um, but so many good things. So. Uh, you know, pay attention. Go check out the Bandbox website. They have a ton of stuff up right now. I think the new boxes uh, are still available for February, and uh, those those boxes uh, haven't sold out yet completely. Sorry, I'm crinkling while I'm talking, but they do have some great stuff. I always like the quality. They always come up with so, so many neat di different things, and this year they've changed their whole methodology as far as what they're doing with their. Um, with their boxes. So it had been in the past, at least for the last several months, uh, you could only get um, a an autograph uh, print or I got a picture or a print and then a regular uh, like a fan art print uh, with a couple pins and a sticker. That was really all they were doing. You got a little pack of cards and the cards, um, you could collect the commons and send them in to cash in for a, an autograph of some kind, an exclusive autograph. So um, that was the way things were working. Well, you know, it, that was all fine and good, but the problem was I didn't care about the cards. And I really liked, sorry, I really liked where they used to do uh, the signs. Um, the signed, um, yeah. Sorry about that. I couldn't remember. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, prints, autographs, stickers, pins, all kinds of goodies. Um, but now they have changed their whole process where they're going to be including props. And that's what I was saying, props and replica props from uh, movies. So like before, I got a really cool prop uh, from Goonies. That was the key to One-Eyed Willie's Treasure. So cool. Um, the other things like the... Uh, uh, a copy like a, a Tesseract replica from the um, Avengers movie uh, rings from different like Lord of the Rings, uh, the one ring replica. I got a couple of those. Those are so cool. Um, just some really neat things that, you know, you, you're like, wow, I could keep that and really put it away someday, pull it out and be like, hey, you know, to your grandkids or whatever. I uh, remember I got this from the band box and I'd be like, shut up old man you know anyway that's that's what that's what they do grandkids do that right uh so thanks for watching like share subscribe remember i'm giving away four things i'm giving away one autograph one print either one of the big prints or one of those small prints either way 
um, I'm giving away two of the pins. And I may even throw in one um, of the stickers. So if you um, if you ask nicely. But uh, please, like, share, subscribe. Leave some comments. Share this video. Uh, if we get it up above 100, that would be awesome. Uh, if we get it up above 100, I'll give away two more prints. So we'll do a total of six if we get above 100 views. All right. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel. Be able to do this kind of stuff all the time. Um, I love talking to you guys about stuff and showing this this kind of stuff off and sharing it with you. So, um, le you know, leave me some comments or questions too if you uh, if you have questions about this. I do have a referral link for the BAM box, and I will put that in the comment section for the video or in the uh, the description for the video if you happen to want to refer or to uh, register for the BAM box and use my referral link. I appreciate that. It does help reduce the cost for future boxes for me. Uh, for all the stuff that I, I buy for this show and the channel and the website that I do all by myself because um, nobody else right now is, is helping me out. And, you know, if you're interested in writing or helping out with videos or doing a podcast, let me know because I would love to, to get one going. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.